The night before the 2022 Institute of Electronics and Electrical Engineers Southeastern Conference Robotics Competition, 21-year-old computer engineering student Luke Rouleau woke from a two-hour nap to disastrous news from his partner, Xuan Hao Shi. I went and tapped on his shoulder and he like turned and looked at me and like his eyes were just empty. Like, nothing was there. I was like, how's it going? And he's like, uh, I, I exploded the battery. Despite the crisis, Rouleau and Shi, who slept less than 10 hours over the previous week, managed to persevere. There was like this really delusional serenity at that point where we're like, okay, um, well, I guess what we can do is just take the arm off and just have it drive. It was like, it was really reasonable. Like there was no like, oh God, all this work we've done, it's just gone. It was really just, okay, that's how it is. After a technicality in the rules invalidated one of UF's qualifying runs, the team left the first round with a share of 20th place and without expectations. So then we had already left and gone to lunch expecting to get knocked out. <laughs> And so we're eating and they call us and they say, you have five minutes to get down here for the next round. So we like leave and rush back to the conference center. Despite limitations without the arm, the robot, affectionately known as Bobbert, fueled a magical run based on its simplicity, or rather everyone else's complexity. The main thing that worked in our favor was that they created the rules for the competition so that there were penalties for trying to do things and doing them poorly. So like actually going for the beats, if you, got all the beads off perfectly and shot up to the net, you got huge points. But if you like tried to go for those beads and knocked them all on the course, you could be in big trouble. UF's chapter of IEEE rode the little robot that could do a third place finish, the chapter's first podium in several years. Rillo, who finishes his undergraduate study this spring, will return for the university's combined degree program with his sights firmly set on next year. We really want to have it and not as it being a blind luck success um, or really a uh, an error in the competition success, but in that we have fully and certainly earned that position. And, and we wanna, ultimately we wanna win first. Ryan Haley, WUFT News.